go. Hey, you obviously know this, but I didn't. I, apparently, I didn't really put it in my head. But Eddie Bravo tapped the highest Gracie at the time with a triangle. Yeah, yeah. It's not even that he uh, tapped the highest Gracie. It was just like people wouldn't uh, get points on Hoyler at that point. Like he had run through the competition in a way uh -huh. that. Yeah, it's it was not fathomable at that moment uh, if you were like trying to keep up with the sport. Yeah, yeah, and he, also he wasn't supposed to be the uh, the person that you know does any of that. Right. That's why it was. Uh, yeah, with his with his like crazy style and inventions and yeah, and, yeah. and stuff like this, where his his rubber guard and his weird legs that go all yeah. over everywhere. And I think he got completely tooled up the right very next match. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, by like a guy named uh, Leo Vieira. Oh. And uh, you know what? But like you tapped the biggest, yeah, the and nobody, Gracie. and he would have that guy would have gone through everybody. So yeah. just uh, it was crazy, and he did a lot of his stuff. Yeah, a lot of his lockdown, rubber uh -huh. guard, triangle. Like, it was fun. Oh man! And uh, what a moment! It was sick because uh, he gets uh, he gets this guy in a triangle, right? Yeah. And you know when you have somebody in a triangle, you know exactly how much to squeeze and push. Yeah. But at that point, when you have Hoyler, he's just like, I'm squeezing. I'm like, <laughs> he's trying to squeeze the earth through his thighs. The look on his face. You, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. He's a I master saw. at squeezing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the look on his face is like, he's, not, he's like, I'm going to kill this bear. <laughs> and then the guy taps, and he doesn't let go for a second. He's just right. like, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. He, he, said, he said that he didn't even realize, while he stood up and he walked mm. with his hands up, yeah. he still quite didn't understand what happened. Yeah. He just, he, he just, like, that was something to do. That was his soul doing it. Yeah. He was just in his body, like, trying to figure out what happened. But yeah, he, yeah, yeah that was, uh, that's insane. If you watch documentaries, it kind of puts it into light of what was happening. There's but, a documentary about it? Uh, if, yeah, enough Brazilians talk about it to the video that it feels like I've seen documentaries on it. <laughs> but a lot of people have broken oh, down where yeah. this guy was versus where Eddie was. Yeah. A lot of people also point out he got tooled up the next match. Yeah, yeah, of course. But uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Right. You know? Yeah, it doesn't matter. You got it. Yeah. You got it. Like, if, you t if you tap, yeah. like, what's his yeah. name? Gordon Ryan. You yeah. tap that rowing, like, you know? Yeah, and there's no real, like, um, lucky punches in jujitsu. It's no. like, you know, you caught him. And yeah. I know you can catch people, but, like, yeah. no, you, you would have killed him, you know, <laughs> by holding him too long. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. different than a, a boxing situation where there's, like, a lot of, like... A lot, you know, also, it's just, you know, your guard might dip just for a split second. Yeah. And uh, and then that's, you know, your your lights out when it's a fist fight. Yeah. Whereas, like, grappling, it's a little slower than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like a blink of an eye right. uh, situation, right? You'd have to see the opening, go for the opening, progress to it, and then try to get a choke. Yeah. So, you know, it's a, there's a method... There's a method to getting to that end point, mm. not to take away from people like uh, who's the who's the guy just recently who who, who put away um, Kamaru Usman, uh, Leon Edwards. Leon Edwards. Yeah, great. Did you see the Dang. like when they talk, with, oh I've seen all sorts of breakdowns of that. I love breakdowns of right, things. right. No, yeah, for sure, hundred yeah. percent. But mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, Wonder Boy, Stephen Wonder Boy Thompson mm -hmm. was watching a Kamaru fight before the Stephen Edward, Leon Edwards fight, mm. and he's like. He keeps dipping to the right when he's. I forgot what the pattern was, mm. but Steven saw it, pointed it out, and he did that exact same thing. And that's the reason why he got caught. That's crazy, man. It's hard to stay at the top. They have so much footage of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you know, true. doing the things you're yeah. supposedly doing wrong. Remember when they asked GSP multiple times throughout his entire career, yeah. hey, do you watch film? And he's like, no, I don't watch film. Yeah. Right? I just train very hard right. in the gym. And then the when he was. The film. He's like, of course. I watch the shit out of this thing. I'm drinking their P to C, which way, you know, this guy seems dehydrated. Everything. Everything, of yeah. course. I got yeah, obsessed. Yeah, yeah, yeah he is obsessed. Those are those great lies that sometimes people tell in sports. Yeah. But there are other people that do, like, just wake up and they have, I don't know, you know, that right talent to, like. Yeah. Tennis has those, like, really. Uh, Bad boys in tennis. This is a stupid thing. First off, you're not a bad boy in tennis. No. If you're hitting right. fluffy balls with a racket. Yeah, there's no Allen Iverson of tennis. Right, right. <laughs> there's no like this guy came from the strip club. <laughs> Look at his strings. They have glitter. <laughs> it's like some shit. And it, yeah. But it had those people that just have superb talent and they could just like make it connect versus. Uh... Yeah, it's weird. It's no. uh, such a focus sport too. So it's interesting. But... Yeah. No. Fun times. Bad boys of tennis. Andre Agassi. Was he? Oh, yeah, man. 
Andre Agassi is one of the biggest bad boys of tennis. Was he? So this is the thing about Andre Agassi that people don't realize is that uh, his dad uh, just messed with this guy's head a lot. Oh, and really? He was, oh, his dad was the reason he became such a great player. This dad used to fire like uh, those tennis balls at him through a machine mm-hmm. at like 90 miles per hour when this guy was uh, eight or nine. Oh, had, no. With like a He's full little... racket. Pictures of ten- <laughs> little Andre Agassi with a f- grown racket, which is his size. Eight years old. Yeah, and then you go off to this academy called the Boletaria Academy in Florida. That's mm-hmm. how. That's, that's what happens. That's what they call they call it the Boletaria. It's uh, the Boletari. It's named after Nick Boletari. Who, oh, uh, I thought. <laughs> why was I thought it was just main. It was named by no, like uh, a ball. We got to figure out Boletaria. a name. Yeah, <laughs> start with ball. I think it sounds like right. bridge to Terabithia, <laughs> like you know, Boletaria. So, uh, okay. Boletari is um, there's nothing like it in other sports. It's the academy that everybody went to: Sampras, Coria, Roddick, Serena, like Maria Sharapova. Whatever country, whether it's Russia, Germany, or America, mm-hmm. this is where you go to like become the greatest, whatever. Mm-hmm. So yeah, he was there, and uh, you know, started started winning stuff, doing some cocaine, started growing his uh, hair long. Mm-hmm. More cocaine. Wow. And then... Um, yeah, he's bald now, right? Yeah, and started dating supermodels. Like, uh, you know, that's what you do. I and mean, then yeah. had it all, all fall apart and was then ranked like below the top two or 500. Shaved his... Stop playing uh, tennis. Mm-hmm. Shaved his head. Started doing a amateur circuit, which is what I did. Mm-hmm. Got enough back points and then like winning championships again. The US Oh, Open wow. Yeah, that's that was... like the Scott Storch of... Uh... Of uh, bas- of of tennis, hey, or Scott Storch is the Andre. Ag- who's Scott Storch? He's the guy who like the beat maker, like the biggest right. bangers of two thousand. Yeah, yeah. Still Dre, right? That's right. That's by Scott Storch. Yeah, he's and then he got a he got a cocaine habit, right? Like a twenty one something. Makes more sense with him. Million. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, yeah, that's more. He's had more than doing cocaine, you know, before bound to the queen and shit. So I learned something new about cocaine. What's up? Uh, What's not up? about the drug itself, but. Uh, apparently cocaine mm. is rampant mm. in um like collegiate and high school football yeah. yeah yeah a lot of things talk to me more what else did you learn but, but yo so, no no that like there's a uh, so i don't know i can't say his name but anyway there's an athletic trainer okay okay and when he if someone gets hurt on the field yeah when he runs up to like a football player okay. runs up to like see treatment or whatever whatever needs to be done yeah. one of the initial questions to like check on the person is like how much blow did you have today oh my god really it's like that <laughs> yeah 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 it's a lot of cocaine yeah they don't test for cocaine apparently not jeez they're just getting amped in the uh in in the change room they used to the people do cocaine mm-hmm. it's a weird thing i know you in our circles we don't mm-hmm. obviously yeah but some people do cocaine yeah regularly apparently like recreation. don't shoot it if you snort it no. you can stay i think you Is can that right? you can stay I've yeah, seen yeah people yeah. snort it at work too at uh salesforce and they seem very functional like at work yeah, at work before uh, call blitzes. Damn. Yo, you want that confidence yeah. that never fades after the eighth <laughs> rejection? Dang. You go into the bathroom before a uh, thing and like you hear people just snorting in really? the stall. Yeah. And like turn to my buddy Arjun. Yeah. yeah sorry, whatever. You don't uh, believe. Ah, it's okay. I was like, hey. What? <laughs> and he was doing it with in the middle of the stall. I was like, bro, what are you doing? He's like, that's what everybody's doing. Those stalls are fucking taken. He's like talking out loud and... <laughs> Quickly and shit to me before he's like, is like, like two like a, minutes into this. Is it like a little mirror on top of each uh, like toilet uh, bowl? No, people uh, have little bumps they can uh, put yeah, anywhere yeah. and then Dude, shove up. it up your yeah. nose like yeah. an oyster, basically. Wow. Yeah, right here is where you put it. So if this, you take this, a, is, this is how when you're like, oh, dude, how did you become homeless? Yeah. He's like, I used to work on uh, Bay Street. I used, <laughs> I used to, used to make, to, you know, almost seven digits a, 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 a year. Guy, uh, stop working for a month to get clean. Who did? We had a guy at work. Oh, okay. Who's, you know, like he's, he's like, sick. This is too much. He's sick. Yeah. He's like, yeah. He's trying to come off of cocaine. He's sick. Yeah. That was. It was uh, pretty well known. Damn, it's also dude. like, what do you do when you're 24 and you're making ninety thousand dollars a year and you're vested into a company? You drink some some water, dude. That's not what they drink. Yeah. <laughs> That's not what they drink. You'd be surprised. Well, apparently, uh, when you shoot it, you go into a different like that's a great. different realm. If you shoot zum zum water, yeah, and bro, you start can you tripping out like it's psilocybin? <laughs> wouldn't that make a lot of sense? Can you can you imagine if that was what LeBron is doing? Just the million dollars that wow. he spent per year. Yep. 
or was it 11 million? Yeah, or he won't tell anybody million? until he's retired and then yeah. he opens the biggest mosque in Cleveland. <laughs> you know? He's got a direct pi- pipeline from Mecca directly to Cleveland. Dude, he would. Mm. Yeah, he would. All right, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be the, a better you know, spend of money than Iverson and a bunch of these other, you know. Yeah, that's uh, true. Let me just finish the Agassi thing. Agassi, yeah, sorry. He yeah, ended up... Uh, uh, running uh, a school and a few schools in California, uh, he built strategically in the most improv- impoverished areas, mm-hmm. did massive fundraisers for them that uh, are sustainable, and mm-hmm. he runs schools in like the ghettoest parts of California that have the highest graduation rates to university and even post university. People graduate from university and get post university education. Oh, really? Coming from like from his schools. Yeah, and it's like all black kids. Literally, just black because kids. it's just it's California, so it's like yeah, just black yeah. and Mexicans. Right, yeah, yeah. It's like a one white kid with like dreadlocks. Yeah. Like he's he's you and know. No one even says anything to him. No one says anything. He can say whatever he wants. Yeah. He's drinking a dashiki. Yeah. We're like, yeah, it's so. So here's a question for you. Yeah. A lot of times when when that type of thing happens, mm-hmm. um, it starts off good, mm-hmm. but then it it disintegrates. Because mm-hmm. I mean, specifically specifically for schools, you need to get teachers to teach you know, in those neighborhoods, it's not an easy thing to do. It's mm-hmm. not an easy thing for you to even, because sometimes like, uh, you know, like at high school, they might be too far gone. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you might want to try to catch them earlier. You're talking about students or teachers and you're actually right on both. You can lose teachers before high school. So yeah, no, but I guess I think I was thinking of both, but mostly to, towards like the students, like how do you, you a- how do you have like a su- sex- successful system mm-hmm. to feed into like universities and stuff? And then still have it run in like a really, really rough part. Of... I think it has to be a privately, fu- it's exactly this. It has to be a privately funded. So your culture isn't tied in with funding of the educational system or mm-hmm. the education system drags, mm-hmm. you know, that I think we're all aware of. Mm-hmm. So you also have a culture of like, hey, teachers, when we interview, like we, we hire the best people to work w- in the toughest areas. Yeah. Like this is what they we get, all do. They get they compensated well for their, you know for their what, work. You know it's the the compensation is a part of it. It's just like people signing up for a specific thing is more than that. Mm. It's like if you sign up for the same pay, but you've signed up for something different, and you know that these people carry themselves with a slightly different standard. Like the like what the do you whole mean by educational people? system. Oh, okay. Every teacher, every administrator, yeah, yeah. down to the top. Like the organization of yeah. that particular school. Because yeah. that's why like not for profits can sometimes do like crazy things. Because mm-hmm. everybody on there is like we volunteered for this, mm-hmm. and we're all murderers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And some teachers, uh, like I had a teacher who was really good, and that's what she signed up for. She's mm-hmm. like, yeah, I went to she went to an Ivy League school, mm-hmm. and then she was teaching us. Yeah, it's like a horrible business idea, yeah. right? <laughs> But uh, some private schools would have like a different and like financially just like a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But they they took it as a badge of honor because they're like, oh, I teach at Kerr, mm-hmm. and that was a school, and they're like, that's where the good teachers wanted to go to, and this shit as well. So well, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. this is a stupid thing. Mm-hmm. There's some, there's solutions. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's not like it, it, it's, it's sold as if and, like it's just like how would you even yeah, 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 yeah. you know keep a teacher going? Yeah. You, you know, you recognize them and you make them not spend money to buy all their resources mm-hmm. and like also have a system where there is, there's a lot of things people can do. God bless them. Yeah, no, for sure. I'm it's assuming just, you'd have to like, you know, run security and all this other stuff. Like the, there'll mm-hmm. be different levels of tiers of stuff that needs to be done. But if you can mm-hmm. get it done, then, you know, it comes to fruition. I think the cool. good is like, if you can actually get them to high school yeah. and then get them to a public high school. But you got them from middle, either middle school or something around agreed, there. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah, that's where yeah. you can maybe get in uh, a lot of foundational, just mental toughness yeah, and expectations. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You get three years with the kid in terms of like, hey, high school is not going to be like this. Yeah. You know, shit's teachers going to be drunk. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So let's practice. <laughs> yeah. Like, Man, I did not like high school. I yeah, went to a softest hated, shit house school. school. But I did not like it at all. You like college though? I love university, yeah, dude. Same. University was the my jam. Mm. The first day I walked in, I was like, I get to reinvent myself. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. I was talking to everyone. Yeah. I had, seen. I had really stressing out the name. Oh. <laughs> He's getting a whole. I, I, just random conversations with people. Yeah. I would just talk to people in the, in the lunchrooms and stuff. Never done. That was, uh, that was unheard of. Also, people are trying to make friends because they're also like from there, whatever, you mm-hmm. know, they came from somewhere. Yeah. And yeah, they're also just talking to people. Yeah. And yeah, it's not like high school or just like. No, I've, I'm not tooting my own horn, but yeah. like uh, charisma, confidence, everything mm-hmm. went up multiple points mm-hmm. by the first day of start show, showing up at Ryerson, yeah. which is not called Ryerson anymore. No. I think T- it's called... TMU? 
Toronto Metropolitan University. Yeah. Wow. It's almost like if Superman went to a university, like we can't give it a name. Somebody might have it. I Make guess, it as generic yeah. as possible. It's such a shit name, though. It is. I don't. I don't like it. I mean, like, uh, I like the name Ryerson. Right. Probably don't like the dude. I don't know what sure. he did. I'm I don't. Sure. Nobody did until pretty, we. Pretty sure. Uh, and then we were like, "He's that bad, huh?" Yeah. <laughs> That's literally everybody. I mean, but did he start a university, or they just named him after? You know what? I have no idea any of these things. I'm not really interested. But I do know that TMU is a dumbass name for mm. the place. Yeah. Right? I wish they. They already have University of Toronto. Right. U of T. Even when you still hear it, I can still feel like yeah. there's there's some prestige to that. Mm-hmm. U of T. They were also first to it. Yeah, exactly. It almost sounds like it's the first university here. So, yeah, you got to come up with another name. Just name it after something else. Yeah. Give it it's another. Metropolitan. Metropol- Is that an ice cream? No one says Metropolitan. Yeah, that's Metropolitan. Whoever says, like, I'm going to the Metropolitan. Right. No. That means a, that's a grocery store or something. That's going to yeah. the Metro. Or an opera house. Right. Those. Yeah. That's the only two. Yeah. I, didn't, I, don't, I, don't like I wish they uh, no, opened it up to the alumni, like, and sent out. They should have. They should have let us um, yeah. vote for it. You know, they allow they they allowed people to vote for the Raptors logo. Of course, yeah, that's how they do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's how I, I got to uh, vote for my um, uh, elementary school. They sent out a flyer to every kid that was going to come the next year. We voted mm-hmm. for what not the name would be, but our uh, mascot would be. Mm-hmm. And uh, they wanted clippers because they had put it first in the ballot. And they yeah. explained what a clipper was. Mm-hmm. What is a clipper? It's a ship that is stays true mm-hmm. and is uh, navigated, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Tigers. That's what we went with because okay. you send it to kids. Yeah, tigers. You're going to get tigers. Yeah, yeah. That would be cool. And yeah. then even explain what a tiger was, but we knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're yeah. like tigers. Yeah. My, my, my grade, uh, my first school, whatever, grade one to six. Yeah. Corsair. Ugh. Also named after a ship. It sounds so stop. much... I went to Corsair. Yeah. Dude. Good that name. sounds nice. Good I name. Know, but that's because it's French. TMU sounds like too much information. Yeah. It's, you know, whoever was doing <laughs> this could have, it's taken <laughs> a second. It would have been better if they just sent out a pamphlet and said like, all Maybe right. They should. Give us eight options. I'm I went sure to we Tiger get. University. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> go Tigers. That's, that's better. Same. Um, have you seen, have you seen any videos of chess boxing? No, chess boxing. Are you playing chess while boxing? No, no, no. You fight one round of boxing. Yeah. And then uh, you sit down within the ring to yeah. play a round of chess. And then once when it's done, then you play, you fight another round of boxing. Wow. <laughs> Have you not seen this? Can you uh, beat a guy during the chess? Like if you beat him, he's out? No, no. I like think you don't even get to the third? I think it's chess. It's It's like chess rules. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, but if you take somebody's king, are they done or do you still go to the third round? You know what? I don't really know. There's a dude. I want to. I'm there's a it. world. There's a world chess boxing championship. It's got 2.7 million. <laughs> hey, man. 2.7 people. 2.7 million people know about this. Watch it. Follow it, dude. A few hundred more right now. All right, here we go. Oh, it's well produced. Chess boxing. Is it more boxing or more chess? Judging by this guy is uh, actually, you know what? This is hilarious. Who's he fighting? Another Russian? And he is up against Frank Stolt, a Berlin policeman and world chess boxing champion. This is hilarious. <laughs> Yo, they've been doing this for a hot minute. He's got six under his belt. This is an international sport and an international competition. Whose voice is this? First come the national anthems. And then the players pull on the gloves for a three-minute round of boxing. This so is jokes. Amateur rules. Let me hear this out. Oh, you can watch it. That's good. Proceeds with alternating rounds of chess and They have it on the big screen. This is... A fight is decided either through a knockout in the ring or by checkmate on the chessboard. Dang. Or, of course, if one of the two opponents runs out of time on his chess clock. They're playing chess if chess. If the chess results in a drawn game, then the overall contest is decided on points in the ring. I wanted to go ding, and they just throw this shit out of the way and just start wailing on each other, you know? And here we are in the opening chess round. Both men are being careful. And avoiding the risk of giving his opponent an opening. Look at look at how intense these the, yeah. the audience is. Boxing. Sashin has opened with a queen's gambit. 
Frank chooses the Slav defense. And by the way, those are not head guards, but head sets designed to blank out the running chess commentary provided for the audience. This is hilarious because you, of course, need some chess commentary. Because people are here to see. Uh... It's time to put away the chessboard. Each wow, imagine that mental shift. Own fighting pawn as the gloves go on. And the ring is cleared for man to man battle. I approve. <laughs> Rarely, you know, do you approve of things mixing, Just but. The Hold on, let me see them box the for a second. Men are being careful, feeling each other out. The first attack comes from Nikolai, who crosses with his right hand and catches Frank with a glancing blow to you the You know chain. what? These guys might be better chess players. I think so. Yeah, yeah. They're moving all right, but it's very amateur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While Frank is clearly wary of his younger opponent. Yeah, Nikolai's definitely winning this shit. Yeah. He's the he's a police officer, right? No, no, I think Frank's a police officer oh. for, from uh, Germany. Oh no. I'm following these guys now, dude. I'm into it. <laughs> Jokes. So yep. there it is. Rarely do things uh you know, that balance works out. That that's better than the slap fighting. That's way better than the slap. But these are both legitimate sports, right? They yeah. try to they're trying to break in, in that uh yeah, like that true. VC <laughs> venture capitalist sport that nobody has found yet. Can you imagine you just like uh Tyson just trains up his his chest? Mm -hmm. He doesn't have to. He doesn't have the box, right? Right. All he needs to do is train some chess, right? Some rudimentary moves, yeah. and then just go. It <laughs> goes in. He says, "Listen, as long as you survive the first, what is it, like five that's, minutes that's of why, chess? <laughs> that's why you start with fighting, bro. That's why you go fighting, chess fighting. Right. So these nerds don't come in and take all your. You know, no one's gonna come. If this guy beats Mike Tyson in the first round, right. fights over. These people Fight are gonna over. leave. You, you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Mike Tyson, that's not. That's the onus is on Mike Tyson for him." to like hold out for five minutes yeah so that he can um yeah so that he can fight the dude Jeez. can you imagine the the guy who's playing chess that's his life on the line no. <laughs> i gotta get a checkmate in five minutes you better hope there's chess first <laughs> you see demetrius johnson does something similar with uh, yes exactly boxing and then uh kickboxing and boxing uh muay thai? no it was mixed martial arts and muay thai right so muay thai then mixed martial arts yeah. and muay thai yeah, yeah similarly yeah. with this is like you better start with yeah, you know. he fought. He fought a guy with like the the, the iron chin. Or yeah, I forgot the guy's name. I've seen a lot of. Uh, it's so hard with Thai. Yeah, I can't name a single Thai person. The, uh, he he got he took like a, a four piece combination to his head, mm. shook it off, then hit himself in the head. To well, that doesn't. I don't <laughs> count that for nothing. <laughs> to further demonstrate, yeah, how durable his head is. Right, <laughs> he's got a headache for two weeks. All right, uh, Demetrios. Johnson, Ron, T Rog Tang? Yeah, Rog Tang. Hold on. Why don't you? Yeah, just finish googling it before we start. I, d I don't know, but I wanted to drinks. take a shot. I wanted to take a shot at it. You know, that's a good shot. Rod Tang. You weren't even close. No, I was super okay. close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rod Tang. Uh, he taps him out in the second. Yeah, that makes sense, man. Yeah, first first round was uh, was yeah. all kickboxing. No shame, no shame for Rod Tang for getting no, no. tapped out in the second. Doesn't even do jujitsu. You know? No, 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 no. Especially if you're getting tapped out by a guy who. Throws a dude in the air. Yeah. And then before he lands, is already arm barring him. Yeah. Good money for probably everybody involved. For everyone involved. Everyone everyone got paid. And everybody day. got their money's worth. Yeah, yeah for sure. It's not like... Yeah. You should do that more often. Mix up sports, you know? I mean, we just saw a great one. Yeah. What else would you would like to mix? Well, the, the middle thing needs to be like something low cardio. Mm -hmm. So it makes it tough because it's not like you're going to go like, all right, basketball, and then we play pool. You know, because that's you need something that's a, right. off, a, like a different, or yeah. maybe you go all in. You're like, hey, 11 on 11, first we play football and uh -huh. then basketball. Holy shnikes. Like the quarters are, and then hockey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. That's how you win the finals in the Olympics. <laughs> Right, three sports, four you know, sports. You need four sports. It's four quarters. So you you go basketball. Yeah. You go uh, football, soccer, like fo soccer. I'm calling because that you can do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With basketball, hockey's too niche. Some people, you know, so football and soccer. Well, hockey's too difficult because you ha you have to learn how to ice skate and then play the game. Yeah. So you yeah. could do like ball hockey, but that's not as fun. Yeah, we'll hold, we'll we'll hold that as a secondary option. Okay. Let's see. After that, um, and it's to be team sport, not a combat thing. Yeah, it's a team sport. Okay, okay. It's a team sport. Dodgeball. Yeah, or yeah, rugby too. You could do rugby. I but mean, yeah, you know, dodgeball. you already put you already put them through the paces with soccer and football. No, no, I, basketball, no football. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's too dangerous. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, fine. Dodgeball. All right. 
Oh, shit. I had something to say. Maybe all of these uh, sports uh, change uh, every round of the tournament, and you need all-around players. That'd be fun. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. This is what I was going to say. Sure. Sorry, man. Um, th- there's, some, there's some sports that need to be removed from the Olympics. Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Um, and then there's other sports that should get in. I don't know why tag is not in. Jiu-jitsu is not in. What? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Never heard of an Olympian jiu-jitsu. No. I mean, they do have... Is it... They have wrestling and Greco-Roman? I think they have both of the wrestlings. I think because the Olympics was kind of... I I also don't know what's the difference between Greco-Roman and regular wrestling. Do you know? Greco-Roman, you can only control the upper body. You can't shoot for legs. Oh, You know know how much shooting there is in regular folk style wrestling? So yeah, yeah. none of that. It's more like upper body and throws. Mm -hmm. So it's like judo without the gi kind of situation. Lots of underhooks, overhooks, trips. But but judo... Oh, so there's trips is a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 But you can only grab lapels apparently. Essentially, just yeah. like anything anything here. Yeah. That seems dumb. Well, there's no lapels in wrestling. You're just yeah. wearing a single No, I mean, uh, I just meant like, because a lapel only exists at the top of the person's no, torso. Yeah, so. I think they, there's certain things they allow you to do and don't allow you to do, and that's why they're separate sports. I see. You know. That seems... And then judo's in there, mm. and then taekwondo. Those are most... And then boxing. Why is which... taekwondo in there? That's point fighting, isn't like it? People like it. Yeah, people like it. It's easier to maybe... It maybe fits in better with the way the Olympics judge things. Right. You know. As opposed to like straight up brutal fighting, they have a hard time. Like they, the boxing medals used to mean something before the eighties. I think nineties when they made that changes. Now it's just like if you hit a guy, there's four judges and they all tap a button every time you hit somebody. Mm. And if one of them doesn't, then it doesn't count. It's like it's a lot of volume based rather than like right. the way they normally judge boxing, which is dumb because part of the part of the art of boxing is being able to generate power. If you're just tapping yeah. the dude all the time, yeah. you, you're the best tapper. I know. Yeah, that's the problem with boxing. It's just uh, not boxing, but the Olympics. But the Olympics, yeah. Yeah, they have this one, uh, if you're, there's a tie in wrestling yeah. uh, between you and me, and we get to like you know, the finals, and we're, we're still a tied, uh, even if we did a couple of rounds. Yeah. Now what they do is bring out a, a velvet sack, mm-hmm. and uh, it has two balls in it. And I close my eyes, and I put in, I pull out a, and then... The color of the ball determines if I'm on all fours and you have me oh my God. in a body lock. Yeah. Or on your own fours and I have you in a body lock. Yeah. It's selected by a ball pickup, which is not how you want yeah, it. Yeah, that's dumb. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the Olympics need some serious upgrading yeah. and, and updating. What were the other sports that you you think? No, no, I be? said uh, because I've have you seen you've seen competitive tag before, right? Yeah, it's fantastic. It is dude, every time I see it on my on my YouTube thing, I'm like, hmm. well, I guess this next seven minutes, I'm just going to be watching tag. Yeah. The moves they do is phenomenal. The agility, the speed, mm-hmm. the, the, the mental gymnastics, yeah. the actual gymnastics. It should be... For those people who don't know, definitely Google that or watch it on YouTube. Yeah. It's not just two guys running in circles. There's, that it's like would a, be hilarious. It's like it an, in just, an obstacle course. It was just an ice skating rank, <laughs> rink area with just two guys running. You're just running. You're just running. Yeah. No, it's a it's a pretty good maze labyrinth. Yeah, that'd be uh, so fun. We it's don't a universal need... sport. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it really. You know the rules. What is he? He's trying to touch him. Yeah. Why? It doesn't matter. He's, yeah. He's, yeah. It's yeah. more universal. You can play that. You know, when you play soccer, they say soccer is a universal sport, bro. But you I've need a the, ball for that. I've got the sport for you. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. So. Yeah. First quarter. Mm-hmm. Tag. Okay. All right. Okay. Second quarter jujitsu. This is one on one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now you, this is the yeah, new one on one category. And yeah. then boxing. Yeah. And then. uh it's just an escalation of an argument, basically. <laughs> the first round is debate, yeah. and then tag. <laughs> so, uh, your topic is a global warming yeah. effect. <laughs> it... All right, so you go, you go uh, debate, you go tag, you go wrestling, yeah. and then you go boxing. Yeah, and then you maybe you go MMA, or maybe the last step is rather than boxing, you go MMA. Yeah, that's that's everything. And then if it's tie at the last yeah. one, then it's both. You then give you, each you one a take gun. Take a ball out of a sack. Oh no, we can't we have these. <laughs> They have this uh, sport, and uh, if you ever go to like Mayan Riviera or Mayan whatever those pyramids are, mm-hmm. and uh, they'll they'll say like, "Hey, there's a sport. You got to throw this ball through a hoop, and everybody who won this, mm-hmm. they died." Do you hear about this thing? Where this no, is... yeah, that's what they keep telling you every time you go. But I'm like, there's no way that can be true. Okay, wait, hold on. Uh, explain once again. Yeah, there's two teams. Two teams, and you play for the enjoyment of like. I don't know who you're... A god or an emperor. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And uh, there's a hoop uh, that's set up on a wall in a way, mm-hmm. and you throw a ball in it, and if your team wins, they die. 
you're 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 the winning team dies and the winning team dies multiple people like hamid went to Ravi and came back he's like did you know this i've heard it from multiple so i looked into it and that's yeah. what they say mm-hmm. but i can't imagine how sloppy that game would be because no one wants to win yeah and you would suck anytime you get good at this yeah there's no next season no yeah <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah it doesn't it, it's not it doesn't bode well for the evolution of the sport no the greatest die in yeah. their amateur in their amateur days yeah everybody's the rookie of the year yeah you know oh if, man if somebody's like doing this fourth year in they suck or they're like just trying to live yeah i wonder i mean like how do they compel them to to actually play because i just throw yeah. the ball in the in the jungle i think you tell them god has something to do with it right and they're like and that's we would, probably it they probably did it willingly yeah yeah but there's a lot of sacrifices happening right yeah man over there you know, religious and spiritual reasons. That's yeah. how you get it arranged. Do they volunteer for it? Maybe. I don't know. I like to think so. Man. You could not get me to play hard for a thing I didn't volunteer <laughs> for, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Man, they really should flip it. The, the person who loses uh, wins. I mean, I mean uh, yeah, like, has to die. Like whoever told Hamid and all these people and even wrote this history book just was trying to, like, like what would like, be crazy, you know? Like, like, how do they know the rules? It's so so ancient. Are they reading it off of, like, hieroglyphics? And you know, once you see a hoop, I think people kind of make up things to a certain <laughs> extent. And they're like, and if they feel like it's not interesting enough, at the end, they just change it. And then, then the winning team dies. Yeah, crazy, right? History. Okay. Let's see if uh, I can find it. What are you talking about? Talk a talk. Oh, you found it. Sure. Wasn't a game. What's more, recovered sources indicate that the losing side's leader, and perhaps the whole team, was sometimes killed and sacrificed by the gods. Uh, by those, the gods? Uh, to, no, to the gods. Oh, Sorry. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, those who have learned about Mayan culture know that death and afterlife and human sacrifice were seen as integral aspects of, the life, of life. Bro, that's so scary. We can pause and like just wait to think about that that a culture mm-hmm. sacrifice of human life is a part of the culture yeah we have nothing like that yeah but that's a part of that something happens you like see an monthly. eclipse go find go find 30 people i don't even know yeah man i can't even imagine right imagine trying to make, constantly trying to make sense of the maturing adult of sacrifices of human life right you know what's the other thing though yeah. is that um they were also tremendously intelligent about mm. some other like other stuff i just recently watched a, a youtube i mean uh instagram video and it was this researcher was talking about they purposefully built various um like shrines and whatever on faults mm. in in the earth like how do they know that the tectonic plates that it's mm. on tectonic plates but they've built it they'll be they'll build they have built sites in various places mm. that is so specific right. that they had to have understood the tectonic plates and the mm-hmm. movements of it. So they know that. Yeah. And they're also sacrificing people. <laughs> I don't think those are the same people. You don't think so? No, I think maybe. And this is me, obviously. Maybe back then they were. Maybe. This is the thing. I didn't see your YouTube video. So that's yeah. why I'm. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. But I feel like, yeah, the tectonic plate people and the sacrificing people because it's sunny. Yeah. Are possibly different people. I mean, you you might be correct. Well, because I don't, yeah, maybe. Who knows? I mean, it's they're different people here. Yeah, like right. the people who do this and that here, right. even yeah. though we're the same people, yeah, are very true. different people. That's true. <laughs> Man, I can't find it because we also dig holes to go underground and travel through hyperloops, but we also do cocaine. You know, it's yeah. not the same guy. <laughs> yeah, knowingly, unless it'd be a fantastic guy who's living his best life. Okay. He's like, bro, crushing it on all angles. Yeah. That's true. We don't we don't, we don't know about these ancient civilizations. Dude, I still haven't watched it yet. Uh, the thing is, you've been to escape rooms, right? No. No. Okay. I so know like, the concept. Yeah, and that's the thing about the concept of escape room is you know there's a way to escape out of an escape room. Mm-hmm. They did not put you in here to just. There's no other way to get to the next step. You know this. I know that you're an engineer. You're yeah. always just looking for that. Yeah. What seems off, just like a TV show or a cartoon, right. is like why is that rock painted differently in this cartoon? Oh, they're now they're moving it. Obviously, right. All of these cultures that have these crazy stuff that they built, all that stuff is still here. Mm-hmm. What have they used to build the pyramids, to build tunnels underground? Go back. To, like, I was looking up uh, all sorts of stuff. Yeah. All that shit is here. We just don't know how to do most of it. Right. Maybe they don't know how to do Wi-Fi. Mm-hmm. But it's so crazy that... It, they still don't know how they brought those box, those blocks to, to like up that high to put it in it's, in the pyramid. It's so much different stuff <laughs> Still and know. so many different theories. Yeah. And it looks like different ways it was done from like areas that are in like Cambodia and Malaysia yeah. to Turkey 
to things that are in the islands around Bermuda to South America. Mm -hmm. But all that technology technically is just, it's sitting here, just kind of rusted. And we just haven't, you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the thing that. Well, uh, we can't see their tools. Yeah. We can't see the tools. We, we see the results of their work, mm -hmm. but we don't see, we don't see the tools in which, the, how they made it. Because I'm pretty sure if the tools were still around, mm -hmm. unless the tools are right in front of our faces and like they're out there just digging in Egypt and Whoa. they still can't figure are, it out. Our tools are internet and Wi-Fi. I don't, how quickly that, they could all have friggin' Green Lantern rings. Right. You know, they could just be like, dude, these were Green Lanterns this whole time. What are you talking about? Here's Chiara, hot girl. We drew her a bunch of times, right? You know? Yeah. But I'd like to think it wasn't. I'd like to think it was like stuff that is here and was here. I think it's elemental. here. It just needs to be organized in such a way for them yeah. to be able to build power and out that's, of it. That's what really just boggles my mind. It's like, crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. How do you, how did you, how do you, were the quarry was that far away? Mm -hmm. How many humans? How many humans? Like, it's not just a human question. Right. It's, it was like generational. Like, it, it, took, it took this much time to do this, and this is all we did. As a, as, yeah. as this whole area, it's all we yeah, did was My this. father, me, yeah. my son. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't get it either. All right. Um, I saw this video. I thought this was cool. Let me play this for you. Yeah. All right, hold on. Members at Planet Fitness never go to the gym. And so one of the brilliant parts of their business model was finding out who is least likely to use the gym and who's most likely to use the gym. And then what they did is they figured, oh, all these people who come to the gym all the time, they use heavy weights, they use barbells. Those are the hardcore gym goers. What if we remove all the things that those people use and then we can get way more people who never use the facility at all? And then what do all these people want? They want pizza. They only want the easy equipment. And so they catered something for everybody else and everybody else doesn't use the gym. And so they made an unbelievable profitable model where the average planet fitness has 10,000 members and if people actually use the gym they wouldn't be able to do it and it only works because no one uses it because of how smart they were about how they pick their customers yeah that makes sense dude that's ins i mean like i get it i used to have a membership there yeah um they don't have a squat rack they don't have barbells he's absolutely correct yeah, yeah. the heaviest kettlebell is a 35 pounder or 40 pounder I went to the front desk to ask if they could order like heavier kettlebells. Yeah. And they're like, we'll look into it. Yeah, man. But really, no. It's not that kind of gym. No, it's not. Yeah, it's yeah. it's the type of gym that uh, aunties and uncles were there with their regular clothes, mm -hmm. just strolling a little bit on the on the treadmills. This was the McFit model. Remember McFit? No, I don't. Oh, bro. Okay, Good Life bought them. But McFit had, uh, Good Life used to have like, whatever, $30 a month. And then McFit was like $9.99 a month. <laughs> <laughs> and you go in and they took a very small area that used to be like a movie store or something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they put no, exa that, exactly what he said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they marketed towards uh, young professional and women. Mm -hmm. And those people don't believe in exactly what he said, like squat racks and this heavy shit. It's yeah. all just machines. Yeah. And then, yeah, Good Life was like, oh my God, this is so much better. And yeah, those people barely came in. Those people aren't. They're resolution people, you know, they aren't like, yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. That's, and this is the reason why I think, uh, it crossed my, my path there. But what's interesting is that they have to find out the exact amount of money mm -hmm. that they can charge that will be almost invisible on a reoccurring bill mm -hmm. so that we, some people forget that they were even part of the gym mm -hmm. or they'll remember that they're paying it, but they don't want to cancel it because they're like, no, 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 I'm going to go to the gym soon. Yeah. And yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. this constant battle between those two states of minds. Right. And yeah. all the while they're just pocketing money. People are crazy. I mean, I don't even blame them. I just feel like people don't cancel their shit. No, they don't. And you know what? I mean, the thing is for, for Planet Fitness, more specifically, they really built out, like, essentially what they made it look like is that they cared about the people who are coming to the gym, right? Mm -hmm. They had, they're, you're not allowed to wear tank tops. Mm -hmm. You're not allowed to drop weights. Mm -hmm. Loud grunting will set off an alarm that's called the lunk alarm. Mm -hmm. Have you seen that? No. Okay. So in, in the gym... There's these blue lights mm -hmm. um, that are off. And then like, but if you, you know, make too much noise while lifting or you drop weights, they'll flick a switch. And then after it'll be like an alarm, like whoop, whoop, mm. and blue lights will go. Yeah. And that's the lunk alarm. Don't be a lunk. Right. Don't drop your weights. Hang on. And they did, they're doing it under the guise that they're protecting the regular person to be at the gym. Yeah, yeah. But really they just, they're predatory and they, just trying to maximize profits. It's true. That's crazy, yeah. dude. Yeah, I agree. I also don't like those loud people grunting, though. I don't like. I appreciate as somebody who went to Extreme Couture. Yeah, we're all. It's. It was all. You know. Just it was monsters. It was all monsters. Yeah. I really appreciated how. Also, I'm not a as somebody who likes to lift. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the stuff at Planet Fitness. It's like that's exactly what I need. Oh, uh, okay. So no, like, yeah, I, dude. Without uh, like, there's no bench press. There's, that's like, not good. No, you, you know, can't have that. It's it's all Smith machines and stuff like that. Uh, it's for honestly a, at this point, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be able to. I can't yeah. go back and work no, out like Smith that fit. anymore. It's yeah. it's for a different. You now you since well, the more you work out, you realize what certain gyms are for. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. even if you do a lot of jujitsu and then you go to like a family MMA place and you see people rolling around, you're like, oh, this is yeah. This is not a gym. Yeah. So yeah, you good on that guy. They're gonna kill him. <laughs> They're gonna throw a dumbbell at him. A light I one. Mean, yeah, a very light one. It'll be like fifteen to twenty pounds yeah, like, max. Okay. Nope. Don't even oomph when you throw this. <laughs> quietly. 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 Um, another piece of useful useless information. Mm. I'm trying to bring one each time. Maybe I'll get a chime going. Mm. All right. Bees do not fly. When the lights are when it's when it's dark, mm. they don't fly at all when it's nighttime. Really, they they can crawl, they can walk. Yeah, right. But with without light, they're not flying. Interesting. And you know how committed these bees are, right, to the sun. Yeah, tell me. <laughs> right. Now, hold on. Let me let me show you this. Oh, you didn't see it. Hold on. I'm just listening to it. I can't really see a lot. Hold on a second. It's got a loop. Okay, they're flying. Look at the ground. Right. Are you sure he didn't just gas them all at one second? <laughs> they just fell to the ground? Like... They just fall to the ground and they start crawling. That's so funny. They're like, lights out. Why are we even working? Interesting. I wonder what the frag they see with their 18 eyes or whatever. How many eyes? One? <laughs> no, they have a cluster, right? Bees have a cluster. Yeah, but I, I, don't, I don't count it at all. Bees' eyes. Let's find out. Why does a bee have five eyes? See? Five. What? Why is it an odd number when I can see two? All right. The two large eyes on the side of the head, known as compound eyes, are used for picking up shapes and colors in the immediate environment. Mm. Whilst the three small eyes on the top of its head is known as the oscilli and are important for navigation, orientation, and orientation. I wonder if that one only sees the sun. Just like, Bro, what is this? Ultra they have five eyes. How come I didn't know they had other eyes on top? I thought those were, I thought those were spots. Nah, bro. Get your shit together. Look me in the eyes. I can't. These eyes. Hold on. There's so many of them. This eye. Dude, I had no idea. Wow, I learned something. Okay, okay. See, now you got it's something. At the, it's at the top of their head, dude. I wonder why. It, no, because probably it does look at the sun. Hold on a second. Let me find out. Um, these small eyes are less conspicuous than the compound eye. They're arranged in a triangle on the top of his head. Shit. Um, in between the compound eyes. If you look very carefully in the image above, you can see that you can make out at least one. Okay, whatever. It should be noted that bees are not alone in the insect world for having five eyes. Mm -hmm. um, the other ones are dragonflies, hornets, wasps, grasshoppers uh among others okay uh, let's see hold on a second the eyes comprised of individual thousands of individual lenses we already know that the eyes uh enable bees to see uv markers in the flowers that guide the bee onto the landing platform of the flower and the nectar reward Man, i wonder what these flowers look like to them yeah honestly all right what are the os oscilli for the oscilli are called simple eyes uh, which, just because Here each eye has only one lens. Uh, okay. Um, these simple eyes do not form an image in their immediate environment as compound eyes do. They are used by bees for orientation and navigation according to the position of the sun. There you go. See? that? Well, obviously. Yeah, that makes sense. It's on top of his head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, the other option was like, see, the, see hummingbirds, those assholes. Interestingly, bees that fly at dusk and dawn have larger ocelli in order uh, that they can pick up on reduced sunlight when the sun. You can read more about this on my page. Okay. Um, uh, interesting bee vision. All right. Well, fair enough. Now we know. They have five freaking eyes. God dang. But the, the three on the top are kind of different. It's not like it's making images, apparently. That makes sense. Yeah, it's doing some other stuff. That but it's still, it's freaking eyes on top of its head. Eyes on eyes, baby. Man. And it's in the triangle. I'm pretty sure that has something to do with triangulation. That's exactly right. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Three different spots in a triangle. <laughs> yeah. Therefore, you'd be able to like you can sp you can specifically measure the sun based on the where the position is. Probably doesn't even need a watch. Not at all. No. Not at all. Nope. 
I want to be. Uh, I think I want to. If if I got real rich and I retired, you want to be a bee? Uh, no, thanks though. Okay. I mean, that would. Be... <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna figure this shit out. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't mind being a beekeeper. Mm, I, I think you'd. Be cool. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, that's a good hobby. Yeah, you get honey. Yeah. Also, like, awesome. it's pretty bad. You have a relationship with animals. Yeah. You, they're, you're all the bees calm. Bees knows me. Yeah, and you can, you can say that. Like, no, I'm I, I'm pretty calm, so they're calm. Yeah. That's kind of the shed you get to say. Right. 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 And then, is, oh, you don't wear a net? You don't wear anything? No, well, I, I used to when I started, yeah, yeah. but now not anymore. Making, they know me. Yeah. yeah, now they know me. Right. This is four generations of bees that I keep, me. yeah. <laughs> I keep one in my belly button. <laughs> Did you see one person saved a bee outside? Um, so it was a bee like just lying on the floor. Yeah. It looked like it was half dead. Right. So they picked up the bee. Yeah. And then they put sugar and water, mixed it, and then they fed the bee. Yeah. And then the bee can fly, right. but just chooses not to and just hangs out on the shoulder of the human that saved it. Right. Now you have a bee pet. Man. God bless everybody. Or that bee has a human pet. Yeah, I mean, either way. Look, it gets me sugar water. Yeah, that's fine, right? <laughs> yeah, but the, you know, what are the odds of a bee that's like what are the odds of the bees going to remember your good deed tomorrow? I don't know. He was hanging out with them for multiple... Uh, what? Okay, the video looked like it was that bee was hanging out with that person for sugar. days. Yeah. For days. This things probably... Right? Hurt. <laughs> you know? It's like <laughs> they ran into a window and... I'd like, to, I'd like to think they became friends. Yeah. You know? It's I'm a, with you. It's a Disney movie situation. Yeah. I'm also, you know, maybe the bee doesn't know. Yeah. But on the Day of Judgment, the bee testifies. Right, I'm down with that. Yeah, I'm all, not, I'm not down with thinking this bee's gonna remember two days after I go to work or hey, something. Man, who I know, am? You don't have to. You don't have to. You know, rain on my parade. There's no domesticated insects. How do you know? Right? How do I know? I don't. Bro, know. they're just starting to realize, figure out how to train cats right now. Like that this took is, so long. Yeah, like <laughs> like they just figured this out like three years That's ago. That's the oldest domesticated animal, and they just uh, yeah, yeah. Dogs were just so eager to learn that you know they're just you like just work. focus all information and stuff yeah. towards the uh, towards dogs. Jeez, the domesticated ants. Yeah, that'd be cool. I don't know. I don't. I mean, like I'm okay like with ants. I don't. I don't think I would want to like no. be friends with them. Yeah, very few insects I need domesticated. Mm. You know. Yeah. You know, some evil asshole would be like, I've domesticated. Like a swarm of wasps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? <laughs> they help them do crime. They, yeah, they do my bidding. <laughs> Freaking Slytherin. I mean, you know what? I mean, it would be kind of cool, right? If someone is rude to you, mm. you can't fight them. Yeah, I know. Right? So you just send a wasp that like way. Pocket and just... sand. There's like <laughs> just termites into their beard. Right? And then it just fucks with them. Just lice. <laughs> lice would be the worst. Lice would be gross, man. I'd be, man. Sh- so much. be chucking lice at people. <laughs> And they cut me off in traffic. Oh, yeah. no. By the time they get home, they're just itching their head. I know. I was like, fuck, that guy liced me. Okay, so what's the solution? Have you had lice before? Yeah, shaved my head. Okay, is that, is that, the, is, is that the non-chemical solution? Yeah, it's easy. So because it can't... but So it doesn't burrow in your skin? No. Okay. No, no, I don't think okay, so. Okay, so it's laying the eggs at the roots of your hair. I so don't, if there's yeah, no hair... Yeah. Yeah, I think it's that's just that. Yeah, I don't think it's burrowing into your skin. Yeah. It's not that small. Like, I've seen lice. It seems like a pretty... You can see the bug. Yeah, you can see it, yeah. Yeah, it would be crazy if those things were bur- burrowing into your head. Okay. We'd yeah. have a big problem. Yeah, I think I think I would have heard about it. Yeah. If that's the case. Yeah, it could be controlling you right now. Yeah. Okay, so they... Okay, yeah, so you just shave the head and then away you go. Away you go. That's how you do it in the third world. Okay. Well, I mean, they didn't even do that in Mauritius. I remember my cousins had lice back in the when it's like in the nineteen nineties and stuff like they that. Yeah, shampoo. Now they just like shampoo. They use a comb. Yeah, it's a very thin, very, very, very thin comb. Yeah, and they put a lot of oil and they do this. Yeah, and they can see it and they like take them out on a paper and they would pop it with their in back home in Pakistan. They yeah, would they pop it with their nail. Yeah, yeah because yeah. like if you don't, yeah. that thing's gonna walk around and get on and something just get else. Someone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get on clothes. Just keeps going until it gets to you. So you All right, so you just maintain yourself. If you're completely hairless, it wouldn't even... Like, if you just shaved your head preemptively, yeah. nothing to hold on to. Yeah, then you'd be ugly. I mean, no. I'm handsome, bro. No, I mean, this isn't normally a kid's problem. It's not like a grown-up's <laughs> problem. It's normally like a middle school person. Yeah, yeah I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but you are, again, you are. Your, ma- your mom would still be like, you're handsome, bro. Yeah, that's true. Right. But... Yeah. uh I've grown to a place now where I don't have to wait for my mom to say it. I, I know. I know. But if you get lice, brother, yeah, and you have to shave your beard, yeah, oh, and your head no. is shaved, we'll see what you say, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see what your mom says. I don't think they go for beards, right? Lice or women? Lice. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's here. It's here. If they, if they, if you shave your head, you better not have a beard that day. Okay, so I learned because I do feel like they go to the south. Okay, 
crabs yeah. can only uh, operate in, in people's crotches. Why not? Uh, is it not as densely? No, it's because they're the 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 thing that they use to 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 climb up these uh, climb up the pubes. Yes, it needs to be a certain dimension away. Okay. So because for their arm length, for them to grab each, I'm willing to buy all of that. Each yeah. one. What about like uh, black people's hair? No, I think the spacing is the same. It's is just it? like they go for a ride if they want to climb up. Okay. All right, I'm gonna oh, ask let me Neil deGrasse Tyson. Let me, let, me, on let, me, this. let me double check. Let me double check. Neil deGrasse. I don't want to ask. I, you know what? I used to love Neil. I used, to, you know, watch his stuff all the time and whatnot. And I, for the last like two years, dude, that dude is an uh, ins, insufferable asshole. Mm. Right? I know what you mean. He's just such. He just bring back cosmos. It's tough when people ask him his opinion. Just be him. humble, dude. Hey, man, he knows a lot more than people. And I know he know. knows a lot more of people, but yeah. he just keeps on lording it over everyone. It's I just know. like, oh, 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 oh. Mm. at some point, it's just like, who cares? But you know, like, yeah. I, I know I do, but yeah. at some point, when somebody lords something yeah. over you, you're like, who cares about fucking shit up? I'm like, relax, dude. I don't have any problem with Neil deGrasse. I love you, Neil. I mean, I'm not going to ask him a question, though. No. He'd never shut up. No, he, he really won't. He'd be like, you don't know this? Well, the Canadian education system, blah, blah, blah. Like, it'll be a whole tirade. What am I What am I looking for right now? I don't know. Whatever you want, bro. Bugs. Which one is it? Crabs. Crabs. Pubic hair. Yep. I can end the podcast off on pubic hair. <laughs> okay, head hair. Let's see. Uh, let's see what I, Even though crabs are into hair, they usually don't like to hang on the hair on top of your head. Mm. Pubic lice are different than head lice. Uh, oh, usually... dude, can you imagine that's the problem? <laughs> it's like, what's this pubic lice doing up here? You lost? <laughs> you look like you come from the south side. Uh, wrong neighborhood. Okay, you usually don't get crabs in your hair on your head. Uh, head lice usually don't show up in pubic area either. Um, hold on a second. They're trying to make you buy two shampoos. <laughs> that's what they're trying to do, bro. They're trying to make you buy two shampoos. It's all business, dude. It's all business. It's all business. <laughs> I guess that's what it is. We'll just leave it at that. If I get my hair slippery, it should be slippery everywhere. What do you mean? You got to buy another shampoo. <laughs> all right. Well, that's been episode 372. Hopefully, you learned something. I did. Three eyes. Five eyes. Five eyes. Five eyes. Head lice. All right, people. Take care of yourselves. We'll be back in a week. We love you all. Good night. Go. No. Flow.